Hi, welcome to art. Today we're going to be doing the drawing exercise. Uh, it is the for Thursday, the 22nd. And we are going to be talking a little bit more about snail shells and about rainbows. Let me sh show you a few pictures so we can look at things together. Here are the materials that you're going to need today. I printed out both pictures, the snail shell picture and the rainbow picture, but you can print out just one. Or if you don't have the printout, you can just draw it. So the way we're drawing it would be to make some lines coming down to the middle of your page that line up kind of like a rainbow. And at the end of the rainbow is a blank space for you to draw or you can have a snail shell, which is a round shape, a round, almost a circle shape. And there's a part where the shell opens up and the soft body of the snail can come out. And so the two different drawing ideas for today, and you can choose just one or do both, is to draw what it's like inside of the snail shell or to draw what is at the end of the rainbow. So always when we start to draw, I like to check in to feel how we're feeling. Are you feeling happy, sad, tired, or mad, or something else? Just notice the feelings, maybe share the feelings, and think about, maybe even think about where you feel them in your body. Sometimes when we feel mad, we feel it in our tummy. Sometimes when we feel happy, we feel it in our face. You might feel it different places. Remember our colors. Sometimes with colors, we can talk about the way we feel. Actually, now that I'm looking at the way this is colored, it almost looks like these colors are kind of wild, right? Some of them are kind of going, going a little bit wild. They look like I pushed really hard when I colored them. I wonder if that when I was happy or if I was feeling excited or maybe mad. I don't know. It's interesting to look at marks that way. So our book that we read this week was The Snail Spell. And remember the child that was in the garden was crumpled up in this position that is called child's pose. And they were dreaming about getting smaller and smaller, so small they could fit inside the snail's shell. And inside of that shell, we thought it was dark and cool, like the garden. Maybe it was blue and green and brown inside the snail's shell. Here's some ideas. It might have been dark. It might have been calm. It might have been damp. Perhaps it was green or blue. Cool. We read the word sticky, that there was a sticky trail that the snail made when it was walking. It may have been peaceful. Maybe inside of the snail shell, the little child was thinking about how they felt safe. Those are all different ways. And I wonder how you would draw any of those ways, right? There's so many ways to draw it. It might look like one of these pictures or it might look like something, a color, right? Maybe there's a color that's inside of the snail shell. Or maybe there's many colors. The other thing that we are drawing about today is the end of the rainbow. So you might draw about something that you wish for at the end of the rainbow. I wonder what kinds of things you might be wishing for these days. Maybe it's a favorite food like pizza, or maybe it's to see your family members that you haven't been able to see. Maybe it's to play with your friends and, and be near them. 
I know we have our play dates on the screen, but sometimes it's nice to be near them. Maybe that's something at the end of your rainbow. Or maybe it's the subway or the bus, or maybe it's playing at the park. Maybe it's school. Maybe it's a party. Or maybe it's none of these things. Maybe it's something else. Maybe you have something already that's, in, that's at the end of your rainbow. Maybe at the end of your rainbow is always staying right in your cozy room where you already can go or on your cozy couch. You can stop and push pause on this video at any point if you need to come back to any of these ideas and think about your colors and your lines and your shapes that you might need to use to make your drawing today. And today I'm not going to draw. I am just going to let you draw because I think that your ideas are very important and I hope that you can come up with ways to show them that are, that are just the most important for you to show today. So maybe it's with help from a grown up or a sibling and maybe all of your things in your drawing are colors or maybe they're all riggedy jiggedy lines or maybe they're all different things, I, I'm not sure. I'm gonna come over here and be able to see you now, think about seeing you now and think about what we would draw Okay, so here are the two images again. So you might start with a snail shell and think about what you're going to put inside. You might just, you might color it. If you have it, you might have more, you might want to put, put different collage pieces inside. That's okay to do too. Putting them in and organizing different colors that you think would look nice. You can think about this in any way you want. Or I wonder what, I wonder if you, what you will do is color the rainbow and put some kind of a drawing at the bottom of something that you wanna do or some place that you wanna go. So those are, those are all my ideas for today. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you again. Happy art making.